Welcome to part 3 on how to set up an automatic watering system for wicking barrels. And in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an overflow for the traditional wicking barrel setup. A couple of things you're going to notice is the barrel's full of brown water and that's because it's a barrel I added on to an existing system that already had some plants growing in the other barrels so the, the water leached through. That's the only reason the water's brown. You should be doing this in the beginning with nice clear water. And the second thing you'll notice is the water isn't covering the black pipe. And that's only because the black pipe kept floating up a little bit. Uh, when I filled it up with dirt afterwards, we pushed it down, and the water was covering the black pipe like it's supposed to be. So once you have all the barrels leveled, and you have the float valve set so that the water is the right depth in all the barrels, you take a two-gallon bucket. We got this one for free from a local bakery. And stick it in the middle of your barrel upside down and mark it so that when you drill a 7 8 inch hole in it the bottom edge of that hole will be about three quarters of an inch above the water. We used a small drill bit first to drill a pilot hole and then we used the 7 8 inch drill bit to make the right size hole for the grommet we're going to use in the bucket. There's a link below in the description box for the grommet. On the outside of your barrel drill another 7 8 inch hole so that the bottom of the hole will be about three quarters of an inch above the water line and then stick this other grommet it's a different type link is in the description box below in this hole then cut a piece of half inch CPVC pipe long enough to go from the outside of your barrel through that grommet and then through the grommet in the bucket and into the bucket a couple inches the one we ended up cutting was about 13 inches long and don't forget to chamfer over both ends of the pipe first it'll make it go through the grommets a lot easier let the pipe stick out of the side of the barrel about three quarters of an inch. You don't really have to have the grommet in the barrel uh, that, because that doesn't really need to be watertight. You can just drill a smaller hole and let the pipe come right through the side of the barrel. But it looks neater and I had the grommets so I did it this way. But you really should have the grommet in the pail. That way you, your, your pail won't fill up with dirt over time. We're doing a simulated monsoon. But there it goes. You can shut the water. Put your dirt in and add your plants and you're all set. This drainage system would work well with a regular wicking barrel. It doesn't have to be hitched to a automatic watering system. In fact, it will increase your water reservoir in the bottom of your wicking barrels. Another thing it would probably work well with is an IBC. You could put two in an IBC, like on diagonal corners from each other. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you liked it. I hope it works out for you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please comment, rate, or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye. Exterminate. Exterminate.